Can you spot the difference between these two photos? Not much, right? You probably already know the no makeup makeup look and it's been popular for quite a while. The purpose of this look is to enhance your natural features. You want to apply enough makeup that it almost looks like you don't have much on, hence the name no makeup makeup. I've already prepped my skin beforehand, so let's start with our base. I'm going to spot conceal using concealer. For cream products, I like applying it to my hand first, giving it a bit of warmth. Before I go in with a beauty blender, I like blending my concealer with a brush first. My acne spots take forever to heal, so I'm just going to add a bit more concealer on spots that need more coverage. I always get sent these spring water sprays and I don't know the purpose of this product, so I usually just use it to wet my beauty blender. Compared to powder products, cream products are easier to blend, giving it a more natural and dewy finish. I'm going to be using this cream blush from Milk in the shade Work. I just like how it complements my skin tone rather than overpowering it. Speaking of which, I should really get a personal color analysis test done because that would make things way easier. I will say I'm not the best at contouring my nose, but I'm just going to lightly contour my nose to make it more defined as best as I can. Then I'm going to apply any excess product on my eyes to add a bit more color and elongate them so it doesn't look flat. Now you can just apply mascara, but I'll also be applying individual lashes to add more dimension to my eyes, as well as drawing fake bottom lashes using eyeliner to make my eyes look more awake. To make this look as natural as possible, I'm going to be using lip tint that is similar to the color of my lips and topping it off with lip gloss from earlier. For a more natural dewy glow, I'll be using this cream highlight from Say. Even applying this product alone looks nice. Sometimes powdered highlight can look a bit chunky on the face, but this blends nicely into the skin. Last but not least, we'll lightly set our face instead of baking it. Again, to give a more dewy look. I really like this makeup look since it's very natural and something that I would gravitate to and I don't really do heavy makeup as often but again this is just the perfect everyday quick and easy makeup look. Lately I've been into cooking, no I'm not the best at it but it's definitely a learning experience. Yeah. I like the fact that it keeps me busy with all the time that I have right now. I found myself interested in learning and trying new things. As much as I love being a homebody, I really want to challenge myself and get to know myself more. In terms of my likes and dislikes and how far I'm willing to go,
have my daily dose of ice matcha and I recently joined a fitness class. I know, I even surprised myself. I don't know, I guess I just wanted to keep my body moving and not be stuck at home all day because I have online classes. But then again, I'm the one who chose online classes because I didn't want to interact with people. And here I am joining a fitness class and interacting with people. Well, not really. I feel like I can interact with people younger or older than me, but if you're around my age, I tense up just a bit. Also, I've been waking up early as well, which is another reason why I'm taking this class to have an excuse to get up. And it's not school related, so it's not as dreadful to get up in the morning. And honestly, again, I'm really surprising myself with this routine that I'm creating. I feel like I'm getting more done waking up early than in the afternoon, which is obvious, but I still do wake up in the afternoon at times. It's a work in progress. It's all about balance. There's a car behind me and this is awkward, this is awkward. Don't make eye contact, don't make eye contact, don't make eye contact. Earlier today, I bought myself a Sony HDR CX405 Handycam and I actually have an older version that I got from my grandma a few months ago and I was planning on using it right away but the battery wouldn't come off. No matter how hard I try to remove this, like it just, it's like stuck in there. Yesterday I was stabbing it with my brow wand but it just, it wouldn't come off and it, you can tell, like you can see marks of me just trying to remove it. Hopefully in the future, I can get someone to remove the battery. But for now, I decided to buy myself a newer version of the camcorder, just a tad bit modern. Comparing these two cameras and my Sony camera that I'm using right now, this one is surprisingly the lightest and I actually really like that. I also bought two SD cards and an adapter. I feel like I could have gotten a better price on Amazon, but I was really impatient and I really want to use this camcorder ASAP. One of the good things about this camera is I have a lot of these Sony batteries so it won't go to waste. I also found out online that you could charge while recording. I think that's pretty cool. I don't know if this is charged but we shall see. Mm, January 1st, 2015. Oh my gosh, I was in fifth grade. What day is it today? It's October 3rd. I don't think I got that correct but it's a Mean Girls reference. I love it. Oh my gosh. You know how people like post their old videos when they were a kid? I didn't really have much of that, but I did have a lot of pictures. I like how I'm amazed by this. Anyways, I'm gonna have a lot of fun filming with this camera in the future, so stay tuned. How do I turn it off? Genuinely? Oh! You just close it. 